of the crop. Well, a lot of people would say that this is a guard-oriented league. I think it's a league of all the positions, but tonight, certainly, whoever can win that guard battle will probably go home with the W. Certainly the headliner tonight. Now here's Irving. Over White. Irving, no good. Well, that one should be in his wheelhouse, but just off the mark. Tatum against Washington. Tatum. And Tatum with the basket on the assist by White. And now the game is really starting to flow. We should be in for a good one. Yeah, and it's important to get that first score quickly and establish your game. And it's a Celtics ball. In 2024, Luka Doncic recorded six consecutive 30-point triple-double games. That's right, B.A., the first time anyone has done it in NBA history. So if you didn't already believe in Luka Magic, well, there's some proof that the magic is real. Not really what we expected. You know he wants that one back. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, Jason Kidd had a few moments to share with me. I asked him about the star power that they're up against tonight, and he said, quote, I'm not worried about the highlight reel plays. I'm worried about the relentless nature of that team over there. And the ringleader is Drew Holiday. He plays every possession on both ends of the floor. Allie, thank you. Now here's Doncic. Back to Irving. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Oh, great concentration from Irving. He's focused on the rim, not the contact. Love it. For Boston, they've gone one for three so far. Tipped away and stolen by Irving. And now the Mavs on the run. And Washington powers it through. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And that is why you want to run off turnovers. Get down the floor before the defense is set. So it's Boston now. After the Mavericks picking up a basket just a moment ago. Tatum from long range. It's rebounded by Dallas. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. Now here's Doncic. Washington outside. Back to Doncic. Pass to Irving. Six to shoot. Thompson right side. Three-pointer off the mark. Celtics trail by five. Stan, you look at the Celtics as high-powered as they come offensively. No question, Brian. They can space the floor at every position, and any one of their starters is able to give you 20 on a given night. Here's Irving. The Celtics making their last shot. Washington outside. Pass to Doncic. Shoots over White. Off the left rim and out. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Here's Holiday. And the rebound goes to Dallas. Gafford's got a rebound number 5 here tonight. Irving, the pass to Gafford. Back to Irving. The three from Washington. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Irving's got three assists in the game. Yeah, they don't come much easier than that. Irving always putting the ball right on the money. Tatum. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got six rebounds here tonight. White against Irving. Thompson outside. Misses the three. Celtics trail by six. To the paint. It's tipped. Doncic outside. Thompson passes to Doncic. Outside Irving. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Defense is setting the tone. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Mavericks? 
I'll tell you what, throughout the first, they did a great job of just running their offense. Yeah, and I love to see this kind of communication between teammates. Great player movement, great ball movement. On the floor for Boston. The tandem on the perimeter, White and Tatum. Luke Cornett out there with Al Horford. And it's Pritchard in at point guard. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. Yeah, quality offense will serve you well in the long run. They can't settle for bad shots. These are the shots you want Irving taking, capable of scoring from anywhere on the floor. Pass to White. Here's Pritchard, and he lobs it up to... Oh, Derek White up top for the alley-oop. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Irving, the pass to Dinwiddie. That one falls. Dinwiddie's got his first bucket in this one. Gotta love guards that can finish inside. Is Dinwiddie on that list? Absolutely. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And there's the foul. It'll go on Kyrie Irving. That's his first foul of the game. Some changes for Boston. Porzingis has checked in for Cornette. And Holiday subbed in for Pritchard. Now here's Holiday. He's scoreless. Porzingis punishing inside. Check out Porzingis' energy. He's just relentless on both ends of the court. And coach, a perennial all-defense performer, Drew Holiday. Fearsome at that end of the floor in particular. Yeah, Brian, he's as good a defensive guard as there is. Great size and strength at the point guard spot. You combine that with his IQ and his competitive will, he is a problem on a nightly basis. Washington's checked in for the Mavericks. The Celtics also with a sub. Pritchard's checked in. Well, the defense gave that away. He's a skilled shooter who you have to contest. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, a key concept preached by Celtics head coach Joe Mazzula and reiterated by Jalen Brown, who says it's reading the game, realizing fast, but playing slow. We're the more talented team, he said. We have to be the smarter team as well. And when we do that, they certainly have been, Allie. Thanks for that. A different look for Dallas. Gafford comes in for Lively. And it's Thompson in for Marshall. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Pritchard. Here's Brown. And the ball out of play. The Mavericks will have it. Here's Irving. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. Dinwiddie outside. Out to the right wing. Washington passes to Irving. Back to Washington. Outside for Irving. And that's out of bounds. Last touch by Washington. And it just seems like shelf life for head coaches gets shorter and shorter. Stan, even winning coaches aren't safe. Yeah, even the teams in the top two or three of their conference are sometimes opting to make a change. In that kind of environment, it's a challenge to coach with any real authority. Thompson outside. Gafford passes to Irving. Thompson outside. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Irving's got six assists in the game. Holiday taking his time here. Pass to Tatum. Launches a three. And again, Boston with the triple. You got to respect the response from Tatum. I mean, this guy just loves to compete. Here's Washington on the wing, Irving. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. And the shot goes. Irving's got four points now in the quarter. If the defender is giving him that much space, the points are inevitable. Holiday finds Brown. And here's White. The three. Three-pointer goes up. Three-pointer goes down for White. Well, there's an example of Brown's ability to see the floor. Nice pass right there. 
Here's Irving. Pass to Dinwiddie. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by White. And so it's White with it. He brings it up for the Boston Celtics. It's a five-point game. Holiday with the ball. Gafford picks him up. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. The Mavericks making a switch here. Doncic checked in. And the Celtics also making a change. Horford, he's checked in for Tatum. And it's Doncic missing. Celtics trail by five. You'd like to let the clock run and take the final shot. Yeah, unless it's a gimme, there's no reason to put up an early shot here. Gafford with the ball. The three from Thompson. The shot off that time. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Dallas on top, up by five. We've got more in store for you right after this. second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. How about Derek White? Really making a difference here. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. Yeah, it's not like he's getting everything at the rim. He's playing smart and just taking what the defense gives him. Irving and Thompson fill out the wing. Washington and Gafford, the combo inside. And it's Doncic in at the point. That's Jason Kidd's five as we get into the second half. Doncic, no good. Celtics trail by three. You know, Grant, in interviews, Jason Tatum often seems understated and soft-spoken. But that's just him, isn't it? That's true, B.A. Tatum has a quiet confidence about him. He doesn't feel the need to be loud or act out. He lets his work on the court do all the talking for him. The three from Thompson. Oh, Thompson buries the tray! This is Thompson's pure shooting ability in action. He has the shot up in seconds. There's Tatum with the three. Tatum with another miss. Dallas leading by six. Here's Irving. Washington outside. Pass to Thompson. Back to Gafford. Deflects the pass. Five on the clock. Tatum against Gafford. And Tatum, here we go. And finished off by Tatum. What a move by Tatum. When he's pulling these off, he's impossible to defend. And we've got a timeout from Jason Kidd. We might see him looking to make some tweaks to the strategy here. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. Doncic passes to Gafford. On the wing, Irving. Six points for him. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Irving's got eight points. You can tell his hustle inspires the entire squad. He really gets everyone so amped up. Holiday finds Brown. Free throw line jumper. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Well, you got to know the scouting report on Brown. He's solid cashing in from the mid -range. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Jalen Brown is playing with so much confidence. He said, quote, I feel like I'm a different player. My body has changed. Athletically, I'm entering my prime. I'm more aware on defense and offense. I feel like on both sides of the ball, I'm playing the best basketball of my life. Well, it shows, Allie, for sure. With perfect mechanics, too. Clay Thompson's jumper is a work of art, an all time shooter. Porzingis for three. The Mavericks pull it in. 
surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. And it's out of bounds to the Mavericks as Dallas retains possession. Marshall, he's checked in for Dallas. The Celtics also with a sub. Orford's checked in. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Tatum against Irving. Out to Thompson. Shoots over Brown. Dallas no good that time either. Celtics trail by seven. Outside Tatum. Over Irving. Horford. And Horford powers it home. Look at Horford just rocketing off the floor. Putting the defense on notice with a big dunk. Doncic passes to Thompson. There's the triple. Tatum pulls it in. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Doncic with it. Now guarded by Brown. Moving it up. And the dunk by Gafford. An aggressive move to a strong finish. Yeah, and getting out in transition allows for some easy points before that defense is fully set. And put it on a platter. Holiday serving it up for his teammate. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul. And Dallas making a change here. Denwitty's checked in. Spencer 24 seconds left in the third. Pass to Marshall. 4-3. Holiday grabs the miss. Brown with it. Here's Tatum. No good from 11 feet. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Mavericks ahead. They're up by five. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist to the Game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, he's a consummate floor general, surveying the defense and delivering the pass on time and on target. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the floor for Boston. Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. Peyton Pritchard is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Tatum in a small forward. That one drops for him. Yeah, the moment Horford has the rock down low. Good night. I mean, just too many moves from the vet. The baseline, Jay. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Celtics trail by three. Outside Tatum. Back to Pritchard. Pass to Horford. Now Porzingis. Over Gafford. Oh, look out! Porzingis! <laughs> Even after that serious knee injury, Porzingis with the spring to flush it. And so Jason Kidd calls for the timeout. He wants to make sure everyone is aligned, given the situation right now. Doncic has checked in for Dinwiddie. The Celtics also with a sub. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Pritchard. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. Jason Kidd had some words for his team over the break. Coach had a clear message for his team. He said, quote, let's finish the job out there. It's ours for the taking if we can just get it done. So it sounds like he's hoping they can close out this game strong, guys. As always, Allie, we thank you. Tatum looking it over. Shoots over Thompson. Tatum can't hit. The Mavericks lead by four. We've got about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. Here's Doncic in the paint. Luka! Yeah, from a tough spot on the floor, Luka's shooting ability on display right there. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Daniel Gafford picks one up. Man, he made 
sure to get his money's worth on that foul. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Mavericks. Well, their passing has been just exceptional, and it's opened up the floor for them on numerous occasions. And I also have to praise them for their three-point shooting. They're showing a lot of confidence, letting them fly from deep. He misses the free throw. Just money from the line. Tatum knows the importance of making free throws. And he's good on the second. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Mavs. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Irving. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, so crafty at drawing fouls. Kyrie really enjoys going at the defense and daring them to get aggressive. First free throw is good. And in terms of raw talent, Kyrie Irving is a step up from a lot of other guys. He just has an innate ability to create things out on the floor and make tricky shots. And so he's able to get one of two. Celtics trail by six. Here's Brown. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Oh, assertive play there by Brown. Rising to the challenge of the moment. Irving against Brown. Irving, pass to Washington. Kicks it to Doncic. Back to Washington. Here's Irving. And stolen by Porzingis. Outside Holiday. Tatum with it. Now Doncic defending. Tatum can't hit. Dallas leading by four. Pass to Doncic. From deep. Rebound Boston. Horford's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Tatum. It's Tatum working inside. And sometimes you forget how long Tatum is, and he's terrific at using this to his advantage inside. Brown against Irving. Rebound Boston. Well, he changed his shot on the approach and it threw him off. He might have been trying to draw a foul. Here's Brown. Yeah! And so Jason Kidd calls for the timeout. The pressure is on, and he's got a plan to share with his guys. There's 48 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Irving looking around. Dallas no good that time either. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Yeah, they might want to draw something up here to get him something at the rim or get him to the free throw line. Sometimes that's all it takes to snap a cold streak. Now here's Doncic. 19 seconds left in the final quarter. Clock at six. Here's Irving. Yes! Well, with his skill and confidence with the ball, if you put him in position, he'll reward you. And Joe Mazzula has called timeout. There is a lot on the line, and he is determined to make sure everyone's on the same page. And looking at the options here, what do you think is being discussed? More than enough time to get a bucket. No doubt, but they might have to draw up something that the defense isn't expecting. Yeah. 
There's Tatum with the three. Oh, bangs home the three. And so Jason Kidd calls for the timeout. Great time to call his guys into the huddle at a very tense moment in this game. Obviously not a lot of time to work with. What do you guys think we're going to see? Down one with just enough time for a couple passes and a shot. We'll see what they can do. Five ticks left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Thompson. Oh, he got it! He got it! Well, you guys know I love analytics, but I still like the mid-range, especially when he's taking the shot. And Joe Mazzula has called timeout, and Coach didn't want to take any chances in this situation, which is why he called the T.O. All right, guys, how do you see him managing the next possession? They've got just enough time for a catch and shoot, but it needs to be immediate. the Mavericks who come out on top here. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks so much. I'm here with Luca. And Luca, you got a tough win tonight. What are your initial thoughts on the performance? You know, we got a win against team that's very competitive you know they go hard uh, no matter what you know they're a great team and you know I'm just glad we got a win and we got to keep going like that victory tastes a little sweeter against an opponent like that thanks Luca Allie thank you as always and that'll wrap it up folks for Grand Hill Stan Van Gundy and Allie LaForce this is Brian Anderson signing off and we present the player of the game Kyrie Irving